The built environment accounts for nearly 40% of greenhouse gas emissions, making it one of the biggest obstacles in the fight against climate change. The Living Building Challenge, or LBC, a third-party building verification system, helps catalyze much-needed change. Its energy pedal encourages efficiently designed buildings that operate year-round in a pollution-free manner. In this video, we are going to discuss all of the imperatives of the energy pedal. My name is Sally O'Bernolte, a principal here at Newman Munson Architects. The Stanley Center for Peace and Security's new headquarters in Muscatine, Iowa, is on track to receive full living building certification from the International Living Future Institute. Following the energy pedal, it's designed to produce all of its energy needs through on-site renewables. This video will explain the energy pedal, its imperatives, and the methods deployed at the Stanley Center to meet the LBC's energy goals. The Living Building Challenge is the most rigorous sustainability standard for buildings, with seven categories called pedals. Place, water, energy, materials, health and happiness, equity, and beauty. The energy pedal focuses on reducing building energy use and promoting renewable energy. It includes two main imperatives, energy and carbon reduction, and net positive carbon. Energy and carbon reduction requires buildings to lower their net annual energy consumption for new buildings by 70% and for existing buildings by 50%. And they are also required to cut embodied carbon from materials. Net positive carbon mandates generating 105% of annual energy needs with on-site renewables and having enough energy storage for a week of resilience during natural disasters. When choosing a new headquarters, the Stanley Center decided to renovate the former public library. This downtown location not only strengthened community ties, but also connected with Muscatine's history. From a sustainability standpoint, reusing the building reduced the need for new carbon heavy materials like concrete and steel. They repurposed 94% of the existing structure, cutting embodied carbon by two thirds, which is the equivalent to planting 560,000 trees. The team improved the building's efficiency, making on-site energy production more viable. To increase the performance of the existing building envelope, they added a rain screen with five inches of mineral wool over the existing brick. A new external courtyard and internal skylights increased natural lighting, reducing the need for electric lights. By reducing the building's energy consumption, coupled with the carbon sequestered on the project, resulted in a net negative carbon footprint for the building. After reducing the building's energy load, the design team assessed the needed energy production. The solar engineers planned an 8,100 square foot solar array to meet the energy demands. The courtyard, crucial for daylighting and urban agriculture, limited rooftop space for the panels. So to compensate, the team added solar canopies over the entrance and neighboring alley. These canopies not only boosted energy production, but also sheltered patrons of the nearby Muscatine Center for Social Action and aided in rainwater collection. While LBC projects must produce 105% of their energy on site, the Stanley Center's array was designed for 110%. That excess power feeds into the grid through net metering. A 172 kilowatt hour battery bank can power part of the building for three to four days, keeping electrical and water systems running during outages. With solar power, the batteries can recharge continuously. The battery bank ensures continued operation in the habitable zone. Resiliency is a critical priority. As climate change increases extreme weather events, such strategies help protect vulnerable populations. While the Stanley Center can't shelter an entire community, it serves as a model showing how on-site energy production can enhance resiliency. The energy pedal is one of the most important aspects of the LBC. To address climate change, we must transition away from fossil fuels and find new ways to power our buildings. The LBC is an exciting opportunity to demonstrate your organization's values and strengthen your community. It requires an integrated project team and an inclusive process that engages all stakeholders. Learn if the LBC is right for you by reading about the questions to ask before pursuing. 